Okay, we have a follow-up to my problem with the SureFlow pump not shutting off. If you recall, um, everything was working fine. It was pumping, but it would just not seem to shut off. So what I did was, you will follow the track. If you look down in here, you can see this is where the water comes up. It goes up through this clear tube, up and around. And it comes into the pump and then from the pump we come out through the PEX goes around tees off into the accumulator tank I did put a ball valve in there so that I could isolate it for diagnostic purposes but what I did was I put a pressure rig, uh, gauge in here as well as a ball shutoff valve and that enabled me to basically completely isolate the pump and the accumulator tank from the rest of the plumbing, which is what we get when we go down there. That's where it goes back to feed the rest of the trailer. So I isolated it by shutting off the ball valve and watching the pressure. And when I got up around 50, 55, the pump still wasn't shutting off. And so here's what I did. This thing is, boy, I don't know if you even be able to see it. It is a tiny little hex driver. And if you look here on the front of the pump, you find the pressure shutoff switch. Let's see if I can get that in focus for you. Right there in the center, that right there is the screw that you adjust to set the cutoff point for the pump. Now the instructions go into all this business about Make sure you got a qualified person, um, you know, professional, making the adjustments to the pressure regulator switch, and they don't give you any instructions for how to do it. But I just took this thing here, stuck it in, and turned on the pump until I ran out of pressure. Uh, I wouldn't, it, you know, pressure got up to where I needed it to be, and then I just used this to turn the screw until the pump shut off. So. It's a fairly simple fix. That was what the uh, tech from SureFlow had told me to do. And it worked. So everything seems to be in order. So if you're having problems with your SureFlow pump not shutting off, I might recommend that you do what I did right down in here, which is to put in some type of a shutoff valve, which isolates the pump from the rest of the circuit. And that way you can tell if it's a problem down line somewhere with some of the other plumbing or if it's something right at the pump, perhaps with a cutoff switch, which is what the case was for me. So I hope that helps. Please feel free to post any questions in the comment section and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you.